kind of a different beast. You can't out content the content king. Like this is hungry box. Um, and I I heard uh, I think it was Jules talking about or no Ritual was talking about how how nervous she is about how close we are the casters to hungry box. In nervous. case there's a close set, it would be an honor. Throwing... If, <laughs> it would be an honor if Hungrybox threw a chair at my face. <laughs> That's a, 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 a brand of the devil. Yeah, I wear that proudly for the rest of my life. <laughs> but yeah, the chair leg through the forehead. Yeah, I'd be down. But yeah, uh, H box is annihilating Guscon right now. For all the gassing up we did for him, uh, I mean that's hard. just how it goes when you go against a top five player. Sometimes, yeah. you know, I mean you can Guzcon... be as good as you want, just. He does well. Oh. What? It, that was a content rest. That was absolutely a content oh rest. Oh, my lord, every box. Does, uh, does a little sniff afterwards. Like, yeah, that was nothing to me. He's thinking to his head, where are my whales at? <laughs> Drop some subs, get on the stream. But yeah, um, GooseCon and Region, he does pretty well against the pups there. He, like, has annihilated Faust several times, the uh, former top 50 pup player. Yeah, yeah. Uh, beat Khalid at Gobble, like I said before. So this isn't like he doesn't know what he's doing. It's just H-Box is that practiced at Falcon specifically. I mean, I wonder why, right? If just, just you know, one of his specific demons. demon yeah. that he's been trying to beat, maybe at CEO and tipped off. Funny so how that works out, huh? Yeah. Smart of HBox. Uh, he kinda, he had awareness that Guzcon was gonna go for like after the empty hop was gonna go for a raw grab, uh, dash back to avoid it. So really good stuff. Uh huh. All right, Falcon trying to keep Puff in the corner with Bear. Falcon Bear, a surprisingly Ooh. underrated move, especially in this matchup. It, sure. it just contain or like captures so much space. Yeah, it covers uh, the space directly uh, behind Falcon, or uh -huh. I guess like, in front of Falcon if you're considering him facing back, uh, sure. facing forward. Oh, and nice name. Hungry Box, like as Puff, if he's diagonal to you, will have to drift either down or to the left. So if you yeah. if you're back airing, you will guaranteed hit him if he's drifting into you. And the name of the game is either A, puffs above you, you want to read her drifts and throw out a bunch of safe aerials to keep yeah. her in the air, or B, she's on the ground, you want to tech chase her or stomp slash knee her while she's on the ground and not yeah. be able to grab because she can just crouch it. Especially the stomp. Like, that's a huge part of the game plan against Crouching Jigglypuff. That's, like, one of the only safe aerials Falcon can really hit Crouching Jigglypuff with, right? Yeah. Yeah. I guess you can down tilt. Yeah, ooh, it, but it's, ooh, that it's, doesn't uh, sound very it's, good. That's a little, little bit of a gross move. I don't know if Falcons use that, that move intentionally in this matchup. Ooh, ooh, double knee, Goose Con. All right, let's see if he can get any extra mileage off this. Because he got rested immediately last time. Yeah, all right, my bad. All right, last stock situation. There, there's a pretty decent amount of the Ontario people who are here in this event, like Mono, yeah. et cetera. So they're all, they're all watching. They're all watching looking for their boy. Oh, wow. In tandem, the up air and the stomp. Hungrybox playing so close to the ground. Oh, there's the down tilt we were Forbidden talking move. about. <laughs> and yeah, we'll see a lot more of this stomp come out, too. Hungrybox playing very oh, grounded right now. He read H-Box's dash back. He saw that H-Box was doing that several times in a row in the last a couple of stocks. Yeah. Oh, and the up air the call out up air. H-Box with a pop-off. Mini pop-off for H-Box. Wrath of Khan, more like the Wrath of Juan. Nice. And he's up 2-0 nice. now. I'm pretty happy about that. I yeah. Mean, it, Who it, wouldn't be? Well, I, I don't think anyone. I don't think. I just yeah. feel like you gotta yeah. be happy about being up two on any any, <laughs> any amount of time. But this is like, it, it's not that it's easy pickings for H Box. It's sure. that he's got bigger things on his mind right now. Of course. I mean, like, I've heard his name thrown out potentially is actually winning this. Event. I I think this would be huge. I think that like Hungry Box has not had a major win since 2022 Riptide. Yeah. Uh, he really, like, he really, really wants that double again. Uh, he's been, he was on the grind, the uh, the first ultimate detox, and now yeah. on his health detox. Uh, at Egg Dog, he was in a fantastic spot to win the tournament, even where he went game five last hit with Cody, won every single match in his top 16 bracket 3-0 before barely losing to Cody, and then. Kinda got owned by Anza. But yeah, there yeah. was a timeline where he beat Cody. It felt, it felt very doable. He could have done it. It's felt very doable. That's just a crazy thing. Is it's felt so doable for like the last year and a half. Yeah. For him to randomly take down one of these tournaments and, uh, yeah, I mean, he definitely has an obstacle with Zane here, and potentially, I mean, 
We've gone up right now can make it uh, even harder putting him in the losers early, so we'll see. And it's going to warm up too. Like You definitely would rather have like good players to warm up against against you yeah. and just trounce all your opponents. Ooh. And Crazy I mean, rap. there are Falcons to be wary of at this event. Like, none. None has brought HBox really close before. He's so. beaten HBox, yeah. too. The stomp heard around the world. Yeah, exactly. So. When none was top 10. Yeah, so they are just pit fighting right now. <laughs> I think it's a little bit scary for uh, for GooseCon, actually. Yeah. It's uh, it's hard to throw out, like, lots That was of oh an insane combo. That might have been one of the best puff combos like, I think I've ever seen. That's. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I just witnessed that. Like, up air into rest off of hitting back and forth off the backboard? He's playing pickleball with Goose Kong. <laughs> All right. Also, Xbox hey. looked over at us. When yeah, he he's been. That, that was I awesome. Mean, he's been doing a lot of looking over, looking out at the sea of people. Yeah, it's it's a good time. It's a very that's, that's it's aura. a very classic Xbox is ism. He's like, witness me. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> So Goose Kong kind of on his last uh, legs right here, but the back is not going to Yeah, not quite completely yet. out of it. Definitely trying to zone Puff in the air with the uh, up air. And this is a little bit scary because as long as Puff keeps drifting out, I mean, as I say that, it gets yeah. caught on the ground. Yeah. Catches the lazy F smash. Okay. And there's that stomp on Punching Puff. If she stays on the ground, you get free stomp. Why not? Yeah, yeah. It's just a little scary because if she decides to up tilt the throw on an up air, uh, you're Oh, and Hungry Box calls out Goose Kong trying to go above. That'll do it. Commendable effort. Handshake. That was Hungry a great Box, handshake. On. Great that form was. on both players. Oh, yeah, that was, that was fantastic. Very sports. A lot of sportsmanship. Very, very good sportsmanship on both these players. How much further do you think that camera can zoom in on him? I no, I'm waggy. I think I think that camera could go more. You can go more. I think that camera could go more. It's like we're oh, he's he oh. was thinking about it. He was thinking. Want to test it? it? Want to keep going? Uh, All right, who do we have next? Oh, we, I was just blocked by Moki the or none. Moki is, is or none. Moki or none. So one okay. of the two. I think it depends Moki on bracket project? path. Uh, I, no, that already that happened. Happen. I saw that happening on Whoa. God. Whoa. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> oh, on this, man. content. That guy's winning this master. tournament. Master. He's winning this tournament. And it looks like it's going to be Moki. Moki? Okay, do you know I who don't playing? know who. Because I, I believe that that was the DQ path where it was... No, no, no. Cause no, it was. It was. Preeminent it was Moki DQ. preeminent, yeah. Oh, we get Moki Dawson. Oh. Wow. That's going to be fun. That's going to be fun. All so right. All right. Moki beat Project then. Yeah. And we just saw Dawson beat Lucky. So, and also Moki has, after this match, he is projected to play Hungrybox. So he is in practice for Puff. Yeah. And we've seen what Moki can do to Jigglypuff over the last several years. I was very, very fortunate to commentate uh, Moki ending ending the HBox streak it tipped off. Yes. Uh, and uh, honestly, a dominant set for Moki. It's brutal. Like, he can make this matchup look literally unwinnable. Yeah. Uh, I've seen, uh, you also watch uh, his sets versus HBox, like the collision set, the gobble set. I commentated both of those. And there is pure hatred in both of their hearts. Like, yeah. they're teabagging each other. They're planking the ledge against each other. Uh, they're taunting. Uh, it does not brutal. feel like friends. That, uh, I'll are, say that they much. They are not good friends <laughs> playing male. They are mortal enemies, locked in bloodlust in the heat of combat. Do you really use light mode Discord? I use light mode everything. That's wild. I don't, I don't know the last time I saw light mode Discord. I. I don't know. It's uh, it's, it's you easier just to like see. the it's easier you to like see the everything. contrast. That's fair yeah, enough. I'm I just suppose. checking the melee stats wavelength channel for any interesting, any interesting sets. Yeah, say hi in Whoa. the channel, by the way. Breaking news: Codeman the Pichu took a game off of none. <laughs> That's. Uh, I remember. I uh, yeah, people people were talking about that being possible. It could be uh, Pound 2019. Uh, Codeman and the SCJ, SCJ, right? Yeah, yeah I, was, I was at that one. So I think I actually kept in that pool. That's so funny. In the Melee Stats Wavelength channel, I see Relaxin says hi. <laughs> Scripts. Oh, that's a SF says hi, Justin. And oh. 